Hello people and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Warner Brothers Studio Tour when I went to the Harry Potter Studio um, Tour itself and my god it was amazing. So yeah let's get down to the Harry Potter Wizarding World so when you've bought the whole shop up really you get a Warner Brothers Studio Tour London bag of King's Cross Station of the inside of Platform Running Three Quarters with the Hogwarts Express itself and you get it on both sides the front and the back or the front or the back or what side you're using so yeah I'm going to be showing you of what kind of goodies I've got in my magical bag the first thing I'm going to pick will be that one. Will be the Wizarding Guide, or the official guide of the Wizarding World of the Making of Harry Potter itself. And my God, some of the pieces in this book is like amazing. Let's do that page. I don't know what the page is going to be about, but yeah, it is amazing. There was no um, animals on set when I went which was a shame, but it had like, what it would have had, if there were live animals there, they would have had owls, cats, dogs, to like see them like do little like tricks and stuff and whatever. And, and this page is the beginning of the Great Hall. The Great Hall was enormous, and bloody beautiful. It was like walking into like a stately home, like Great Hall, and it was like having like a bit of like magical touch here and there. And when we went, we went on the last day of the Dark Arts um, experience, so there was like pumpkins floating in the air and candles here and there and the tables were set like knife and forks and plates and the jugs and cups um all the windows like the hanging like um flying hogs or pigs with like the fires coming out of the trays and stuff and the people standing on the um top of the platform with like Albus Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall, Snape, Hagrid, Filch, Madar Moody, Professor Fickwick, all of them were like mannequins but they look so real. My god I've never been to a place that looks so real so I'm getting carried on with like whatever. I need to get onto this um, haul video, sorry. Dip do boo you. Um, would be my magical wand I got and you can guess what wand I got if you want you can put it in the comments and you can see if you got it right um, I'm not doing any magic spells yet I need to get out first this is when you need fingernails really um, can you guess what wand it is yet? but it is Albus Dumbledore's or the Deathly Hallows wand the Elder wand and my god, I've never seen such beautiful detail in the wands that they like have on show and whatever and you can buy. And this wand was like just hanging on the wall and you can pick like the wands from like cupboards and stuff and this wand, it's got such beautiful detail in it. It's got like a short bit on the top and like a little bobble down the below. Another short bit and a bobble. And it keeps going down and the bobbles keep getting bigger. So you can use the bottom part as like a handle. I don't really know why I keep using my hand like Lord Voldemort. I know you have to use, I know you have to hold a wand like that. Or you have to hold it quite elegantly or something. But I normally hold it like Lord Voldemort does. I don't really know why. Maybe I'm secretly a Slytherin person, but I'm truly not. But my god, the detail in the wand, it is like beautiful, as you can see. 
every single light bobble has got dots on and I love that white part where it's got like each and every like little like logo on it and it's like beautiful how they like made it I think they put a bit of metal all the way down the bottom and they cast it to like the model of the elder wand itself but my god it is beautiful and it's quite light really and it's not really a toy to use but uh, I'll be using it as a toy later flick and swish box that you can put the wand in itself that's actually um, molded for the wand itself so each wand has a different like molding cast for it and etc and you get its own little like sleeve and in the sleeve itself you can like put it on the like wall or whatever and it's got like its own little like saying Albus Dumbledore's wand and my god that wand is like beautiful so the next one will be this one um, when we was halfway round the tour, we went to this like big outside part with like the Privet Drive, the night bus, the um, bridge in the um, Prison Azkaban that they walked over and inside it had like a restaurant area that you could sit down and another restaurant part where you can get like drinks or ice cream. And this part was where you can get butterbeer. I've been waiting to get butterbeer for ages. And the only place you can get butterbeer is at Warner Brothers in China or in um, America. And my God, the thing what you can get it in is a non-plastic cup from like whatever. And you can get it in a mug kind of thing. And also a... Um, muggy trophy kind of thing with like two handles either side but I got the one where you can like just hold it and you can just drink it from like that or whatever but I can use it as a pencil pot I can use it as a normal drinks canister and just drink like my Ribena out of it or a casual beer or whatever or casual butter beer or whatever but it's so like detail with the butterbeer name on it and stuff and it's on both sides and it's quite nice that it's clear because when the butterbeer was in it it was like orange and it had like quite a lot of like froth on it and then when you put your mouth in it you get froth up your nose and over your lips and stuff and it was like you live in the films itself that you was actually drinking butterbeer but I think it was like tasting like um, iron brew really the like sugary energy drink I'd say tastes like but I might be wrong or it could be like um, Lucas Aid or something but I might be wrong it is a chocolate frog and you get a card inside I've taken the label off because I think if I showed it in the camera it would be like quite reflected and my god the detail on the box is absolutely beautiful it has a frog shaped milk chocolate 150 grams and the detail on the box itself it's like beautiful it's got gold letters on it and it's got like a nice purpley like tint on it and the side of it is quite nice itself and on the bottom of it as you can see there um, free wizard and witch's card inside so we can open it up we get a massive chocolate frog which I'll be eating that later that will be gone not anything and you get a wizard card or witch's card inside and this one is a Judah card skills and on the back there's not a lot of items on here Jodie Castle Skills. This witch is famous for the first ever Atlantic broom crossing. So it's more piss bit. Um, on the front, you can like hopefully see on it she's like moving a bit. But the detail in the card itself is quite beautiful itself. 
and the broom is like half flying out of the picture and you just feel like you can actually pick it out but you can't and it's like so like beautiful and um, the box is like amazing as well so he'd be gone later or I might eat him when I've gone exploring because I might need some energy if I'm going exploring really it will be this so with this one you get a nice detail on the front of where it says London to Hogwarts on it I do a better part in a minute um, but inside I have got it's not alive don't worry um, a Hogwarts scarf of the one and only Gryffindor because who doesn't want to be in Gryffindor um, scarf itself and my god it is so nice and warm and it's quite toasty as well and the what would you call these the tassels on the scarf are like nice as well and they're like so like detailed and soft and whatever and my god who doesn't want to be in Gryffindor and have a scarf as well I know it's not very big I think they've done like different sizes or maybe I've got an abnormal one or whatever but the black tissue paper is like lovely as well because you get different like um thing on it as well there's like London to like Hogwarts one train ticket one way and my god it is like beautiful in its own way so yeah I'll be using that scarf in exploring time anyway. So the next edible is going to be a Honey Dukes Cola Lolly, which I've never tasted before. I've never tasted a Honey Dukes sweet. I think I'm kind of like a virgin to like Honey Dukes really, or any kind of like Harry Potter sweet really. And this has got a little Honey Dukes um, label on the top and on the side it's got like Colory like wingy white stripes on it and I bet you that'll taste nice of cola so I haven't tasted that yet this one is going to be another badge um, it's the same house as the scarf so yes it's a Gryffindor badge and this Gryffindor badge is absolutely beautiful in detail oh my god I need to come closer to the um, camera itself. So you got like the detail in the badge itself and you've got like writing underneath it, you've got the shape of the shield with the line on it and you've got the person on the top of the middle or like a knight but my god it is so beautiful detailed. I've never seen a pin badge that detailed in my life. So yeah, that would be my 170th piece of badge, manubilia. So yeah, I need to get more waistcoats. So that badge will be straight on my waistcoat later. This one is a fridge magnet of a bird of Hedwig the owl. And it's got like the making of Harry Potter on the side of it as well. And I just like it because who doesn't want an owl as a pet? My God. So this one is at the checkout and I thought I need to get it because you can't have too many um, clapperboards really because I think YouTubers use clapperboards quite a lot here and there um, but yeah if you're like a film director kind of thing um, you use like clapperboard to like do the date of like the day that you're filming and the scene you're on and the time or the taken or how many takes you've taken so like bloopers or whatever so this one is like a lovely like little um, clapboard itself and it's got the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London on the um, clapboard itself 
and it's like beautiful in its own way it's got like so detailed writing on the bottom if you can't read it it says director camera date scene time or taken and it's so like detailed in its own way and it's so shiny later on yes I have this is a, another edible and this will be in another video but I'm going to show it in this video as well because it's another Harry Potter themed thing um, better it would be a disgusting video but oh well life life throws us with everything doesn't it um, this one is Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Flavour Beans. Um, the beans of inside the packet look absolutely disgusting with the colours. One of them looks like dirty old mould. Um, the detail in the box is like beautiful. It's got like clowns on the front and it's got like pillars and my god it's quite detailed in like the packaging itself. Um, it's quite like what would you call it? Circusy typed, really. I'd say with like the stripes and the pillars and bits and pieces, and the people on the top of itself with the lady wearing a what would you call it? Um, like a party hat kind of thing, and she's got feathers coming out of it. On like the other side, it's got a lady wearing a um, what do you call it? A ringmaster hat kind of thing, or one of them people who do like the trombones or bits and pieces. And it's like so detailed how they like make it. And sure, if I want to eat it, really, but I wanted to taste what a Bertie Bot's Ever Flavor Bean was. And inside, I can't see any like information of what ones taste nice or taste horrible. So it's like a bit of a mix match, really. So I might get a nice one, or I might get a disgusting one. I don't really know. But yeah, that would be another video, really. So yeah. So that is all from my day visit to the Warner Brothers Studios Harry Potter Studio Tour. And my God, some of the pieces I got look absolutely fabulous. Like wand the scarf, the badge, don't know about the baby boys that flavour beans but that would be another story that will. But my god the detail that goes into the produce is like amazing and the details in the sets as well. My god I've never been to a place that has got so much detail in its sets. My god no wonder Harry Potter is loved by millions or thousands of millions or whatever. My god. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in another video soon. Over and out. Bye! Hello people and thank you for watching my video and if you'd like to turn the bell on for notifications so you won't need to miss any videos which I upload and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and also don't forget to follow me on my social medias the links will be in the description down below you can follow me on my Facebook page Twitter Instagram snapchat and also thank you for watching once again and I'll see you in another video over and out bye